Okay, I am missing some objects. Can you help me find them? Great, thanks. Let's go. First, I'm looking for a red letter. Can you find a red letter? Look around. Do you see one? Oh, did you pick out this red letter I in the middle? That is a red letter, but that's not what I was looking for. I was actually looking for this red letter over here to the left. So if you guess the I, you were close, but not quite correct. Let's try another one. Okay, now I'm looking for a B. Hmm, do you see a B on this picture? Now if you guess this cute little bumblebee in the middle, then you were close, but again, not quite correct. I was actually looking for this yellow letter B down in the right corner. Let's try one more. Okay, now I'm looking for some tape. I see some toilet paper, golf ball, flowers, some plates. Do you see any tape? Well, there is the sticky kind of tape right in the middle there, the kind you use for wrapping presents, but that's not what I'm looking for. So if that's what you found, that's not right. I'm looking for a cassette tape, which is right down there in the lower right corner. If you found that, good job. In John chapter 9, verses 1 through 41, we hear about how Jesus heals a man who was born blind. Healing a man who was blind and couldn't see is an amazing miracle. But the Pharisees and people in charge were more caught up in the rules and the way that it was done than the fact that this miracle had happened. The same thing can happen to us in our own lives and even every day. In today's game, I asked you to help me find some objects. For example, we looked for a bee, but I didn't say exactly what kind of bee to find. There are a lot of other pictures on the screen, and it's super easy to get distracted by the size of the bumblebee that we had in the picture and not realize that the letter B was hiding down in the corner. It's very easy to get caught up in the distractions of our own lives and our own selves. And when we do, we can miss the amazing miracles of God's love that are happening all around us. This week, let's all take a moment to stop, look, listen, and enjoy all of God's love that is around us. Have a great week, everybody.